Hello guys. In this video, we will see how to connect your Google Cloud VM machine to Mobile XTerm so that you can access your VM using this software. So let's go to the Google Cloud console. I want to connect this machine to Mobile XTerm. First of all, we'll have to assign an external IP address to this machine. So let's go to the IP addresses. I have already opened this tab, so you can just simply click or search IP addresses here, and then you can go to that tab. So uh, we'll click on reserves external static IP address, give a name. Make sure the region is same as your VM is in. So for example, um, if I see my VM, this is in North America, Northeast too. So I'll select the same region here. Then I can attach that external IP address to the machine right from here. So I can click on reserve and it will create the external IP address and also assign it to that VM machine. Okay, so let's check if it has been assigned. I'll try to refresh this page. Okay, the external IP is there now. So let's go back to Mobax term, click on tools and click on mobile key gen uh, SSH key generator, we need to generate a private key that we can add to the VM machine. So click on generate and move your mouse randomly in this area so that it can create a unique key for you. A key has been created. Give a comment. Comment is the username that you will use to log in into the machine. So I will give it test demo and passphrase is the password that you will use to log into the machines okay so now you can copy this key you can also save this private key we will need this later so um, I'll put it on the desktop, give a name, private key. We have copied this key from here. We'll go back to the console, access this machine, click on edit. and then add the SSH key here. Add item, paste your key, and click on save. So the SSH key has been added to this. So now let's go back to the machine and copy the external IP address and use this to connect. So we'll do a new session, click on sessions, new session, SSH. This is the IP that we just copied and the username, you can also specify the username that we gave. This was test demo. And then we'll use advanced SSH settings, use a private key, the private key that we just downloaded and then click on OK. Now enter the password that we kept while creating the key. And now you have been connected to the machine. So that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.